Okay, bonus round, parallax test time. Guys, if you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button for me. It may, means a lot to me. Uh, I'm going to take 10 rounds, and I'm going to do a parallax test. We recently had some questions come up on uh, ARFCOM and on Facebook asking, are your, par are your optics parallax free? And the reality is that no red dot is totally parallax free. We advertise ours as being parallax free past 33 yards. That's very common. Uh, some of the guys that are real subject matter experts will insist to you that Mathematically speaking, there's no such thing as a parallax-free, totally parallax-free red dot. And I'm in that camp. I don't think that there's, I don't think it's mechanically possible. So this is a worst case scenario for parallax. Um, if we're parallax-free at 33 yards, then our parallax problem is going to be worst at a longer distance, uh, but, uh, but at a distance where the parallax distortion or the, the error is, is not decreasing too much. So I thought about doing this at 25 yards. I'm going to do it at 15 yards because I think that's kind of worst case scenario. So what the hell is parallax when it comes to red dots and why do we even care? What's, what, are, what are we doing here? The question is, do I have to have the dot in the middle of the window in order to get good hits on target? If I put the dot at the corner of the window, will the parallax error involved in the optics of, of how the dot works, will it cause me to have a significant shift in my point of aim? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take 10 shots and I'm going to just call out what the orientation of the dot is holding deliberately off center at the corners of my 16 millimeter sentinel window and then in post production I'm going to put a little diagram in there and show you guys what my holds look like. This feels really weird to do if you're like me and you shoot dots a lot this goes counter to everything that you would that you would ever do with a pistol and a red dot. So I'm doing this for you guys. Um, again, with the, with the factory Blazer 115 grain ammo at 15 yards, I'm going to shoot as well as I can with these weird holds. Here we go. Without any further ado, this is 12 o'clock. Oh gosh, that feels so weird. This is about 2 o'clock in the right-hand corner. This is. 3 o'clock, totally off to the right as much as I can. This is about 4 o'clock, 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm in the bottom right corner. I'm actually sighting underneath the iron sights there, which feels super weird. I'm not going to do 6 o'clock because I've got iron sights in the way on that. So this is about 7 o'clock. I'm in the bottom left corner. Here's 9 o'clock, totally on the left of the window. There it is. And now at the top left at about 10 o'clock, 10.30. All right, those are all good shots. I'm not going to lie to you guys, that felt super weird. Um, <laughs> just try it at home yourself. Like if you have a dot, try the parallax test and see how you do because it's interesting. So I've got one that's just on top of my little black sticker and then kind of a banana shape for all the other nine shots there, right? So in my opinion, the parallax error, at that's a worst case scenario. That's 15 yards shooting. Um, and I've got all of these are, uh, you know, if if you got a problem with that, you got a problem with yourself. Come on. So I honestly don't think that uh, that parallax error in these red dots is anything more than a marketing ploy. It's something that people talk about making a mountain out of a molehill um, because they put it on the side of the box and uh, they try to make it look like you know oh, our dots better than their dots because ours are parallax free. You know, with pistol shooting. You know, I'm going to do a video later on at Precision Rifle, you know, talking about parallax error at 500 yards and how to set your parallax and how to check your parallax when you're shooting a, a 5 to 25 Warhawk. Okay, that parallax error matters. That has to be corrected for there's a technique to do that. There's an art to doing that. With pistol dots, he, he, I've, I've addressed this threat. He's done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. and. Have a good weekend.